All right, so I'm gonna drive this. I use a jeweler screwdriver, such as one found in a set like this, with the tip ground off flat. So it doesn't have actual flathead or Phillips screwdriver tip anymore, it's cut off straight. And then it's just the same size as the split pin. And it doesn't take much, I'm just gonna use the back side of a screwdriver. And that's about it right there. Knob comes off. And then there's a flathead screwdriver will feed the lever off here. So if you had a broken lever, that's how you're gonna get it off. On this side, we have a little clip here that needs to come off of this pin. You just kind of pull it up a little bit and slide it off. And make sure you don't lose it, obviously. This pin will slide right out. Flathead screwdriver, feed through the barrel. all the way and that's it so assuming this was a broken lever then we put that one away grab our new one put the barrel back into the new lever and feed it back in the same way we took it out This pin back in here, put the clip back on the back side, that one's a little bit stubborn, I'm going to use a tool to help push it on, there we go, and now I just got to drive that split pin back in to hold the knob on and it's done. Uh, one thing be careful about when you're putting the split pin back on, if you use a really small tool, it's easy to deform it or like cause some problems with it. Um, I usually use like a bigger tool. Actually, lately I've been using a, an Allen wrench. And it doesn't take much to tap it back in. You don't have to be real aggressive with it. This is a tiny pin that Sometimes it's hard to get lined up. Although, of course, for this video, this is the most trouble I've ever had. <laughs> okay. I think the reason why is because I didn't do the screwdriver in quite far enough. Yeah, that's why I'm struggling. Should go much easier now. Let's put the split pin back on. Get it lined up with the hole. And then a really good idea is to use a bigger blunt object, like I'm going to use this Allen wrench here, so I don't deform the pin at all. That's it. One new lever, ready to go.